हेलो हाय एवरीवन टुडे विल चेक राहुल्स वीडियो व्हाई मार्केट इज बुलिश ऑन आईटीसी स्टॉक राइट नाउ इज आईटीसी स्टॉक अ लॉन्ग टर्म बेट बेट समथिंग Hi friends at the time of recording this video many brokers are predicting that the ITC stock price is going to cross 500 rupees in the near term for example Morgan Stanley is saying 506 Goldman Sachs 480 Investec 504 Novama 505 the point is the market is right now very bullish on ITC stock so in this video i will present you some data backed analysis to see whether there is going to be a lot of juice in ITC stock in the coming weeks so request you to watch this video without skipping The first point that I want you to have a look at is the stock price of ITC and how it has behaved in last 2 years. In February 2022 the stock was at 213 rupees level and by July 2023 the stock went up to 490 rupees so a massive rally is what we can see within a year or 15 months of period after that the stock started to correct and you see two big corrections here one this here and the second correction here in January 2024 and the stock dropped to 400 rupees level now it has been going slightly up and has gone to 438 levels the question is can this stock from 438 level go beyond 500 rupees level so let us look at some of the analysis i will also explain to you what caused this massive rally in itc stock and what led to the correction in the last few quarters i will try and explain it to you first critical point is what led to this rally that we have seen in fy 2023 so for that if you look at my screen you will notice the pnl account or the fundamentals of itc back in fiscal year 2023 few key points here you see the FMCG cigarette business in FY23 from a revenue perspective grew by 20% and from a profitability wise as well grew by 20%. FMCG others business which is brands such as Ashirwad Atta and many other FMCG products were growing at 19.6% and from a profitability perspective it was growing at close to 50%. 48.8% growth rate is what it was shown in FY2023. Also more importantly have a look at the hotel business. Hotel business almost doubled from a revenues perspective and from a profit profitability perspective the business was making losses up until fy 2022 but there was a turn around story and it gave 542 crore rupees of profit if we look at the agri business it grew by 12.2% while the profitability grew by 28% paper boards and paper and packaging business showed 18% growth rate from a revenue perspective and from profitability perspective 34% overall if you see profit before exception items and tax it grew by 24% in fy 2023 that was a massive massive growth that itc saw in fiscal year 2023 and as a result of which the share prices were soaring quarter by quarter slowly and it went up to 490 levels after that we see two corrections here let me speak about this correction first here from january to february 2024 onwards and the key reason for this correction was that british american tobacco bat that had the majority share holding in itc started to sell the stock and when this news came into market people started to offload the stakes because there was a fear that this fii who holds majority shares in itc is selling the stocks maybe there is something fundamentally wrong but in my view i don't think there was something fundamentally wrong with itc at that time it just that tobacco manufacturing limited reduced their share holding from almost 20% to 20.37% so they only offloaded around 3.5% of their stake and time to time shareholders do that to rotate their capital to book profits to look for other opportunities and so on but as we see the stock fell down from 470 levels to almost 400 rupees level and even during intraday the stock fell down below 400 levels at that time now you will say that rahul okay understood this correction what about the fall from here and the overall stock being under pressure for that have a look at my screen and you will see the fy24 results so in the last four quarters if you see what has happened in the company is that the cigarette business growth has gone to 8.5% it used to be 20% it has come down fmcg others business not only for itc across the industry has been down in fy2024 and it has come down to 9.6% from a revenue perspective if you look at the hotels business that growth also has come down to 15% from a agri business perspective the revenues have come down by 13% from a paper business perspective as well there has been a degrowth of about 8% and overall if you see fy24 force pat you will see that the pat has degrown by around 1.3% and this has had a massive drag in the stock prices of itc now the question is why was there is a degrowth in agri business so what the management said is this is mainly because of the trade restrictions imposed on agri commodities by indian government now to me that is a very very short term phenomena and this is a cyclicity because agri business not only depends on monsoon it also depends on government policies because of geopolitical tensions 
In FY24, government decided to put lot of trade restrictions on items such as wheat etc. And that is what has led to fall in the revenues for ITC. Is it going to be a permanent phenomena? In my view, that is not going to be a permanent phenomena. It is a temporary slowdown in this business. Also, if you look at the paperboard and paper and packaging segment, there has been a commentary by management that low price Chinese supplies grew in the market and also the domestic demand was at the lower side and because of which paperboard business saw some degrowth. Again, in my view, this is the cyclicity that this segment is showing right now. Will it continue permanently? Of course not. And in good stocks, in my view, these are the opportunities when the fundamentals are not great, then the stock prices are down and people should look to accumulate these stocks for a long term bets if you are confident about their business growth. Not a stock recommendation here, but I'm just giving you a broader point here that when a stock's fundamentals are very, very good and stock is soaring like that, that is a one view to take the positions. But at the same time, if the business is going through some demand cycle issues and if the stock prices are down you might again want to take some bets because when the demand improves the stock prices go back up so far if you're liking this analysis request you to hit the like button let me know in the comments a simple thank you it will motivate me to do a lot of research for you at zero cost also you can consider subscribing my youtube member community where i share in-depth analysis of stocks mutual funds and various other assets you will learn a lot there now comes the million dollar question rahul now the stock is at 438 level can it go from here to 500 rupees level what are few triggers that you can think of so in my view there are few triggers that i would like to share with you also i would like to share one big risk with the stock so that you have both the views and make your decision according to data and not with my opinion so first trigger is on 4th of june the company is going to give dividend of 7 rupees 50 paise and that 7 rupees 50 paise is already baked into the current stock price and generally what we see is that when the stock goes x dividend the prices of the stock comes down they get corrected by the dividend amount so it is likely that the prices of this stock might come down after 4th of june because of the dividend that i just talked about second trigger that i see is that on 6th of june itc is going to hold a shareholders meeting to approve the much talked about demerger of itc hotel business from the rest of the business so they are literally into the last legs of this demerger which is going to happen sometimes in fi 2025 now is this demerger a good news or bad news for shareholders so general view in the market is that it is going to unlock a lot of value for shareholders few key points that you need to know point number one is that hotels business is going to carry forward the itc brand name it is going to be itc hotels limited which is excellent from a hotel business perspective point number two you will note is that from a ROCE perspective, from a ROIC perspective, ITC's ROCE and ROIC is going to increase because of this demerger that we are going to see. Novama estimates it to be going up by 10%. So from a shareholder's perspective, this is a value unlocking. Also, if you look at the proposed demerger, you will see that shareholders are not losing any money here in terms of the demerger. So before merger, if a shareholder holds, let's say 10 lakh rupees of stock in ITC, they have 100% stake in ITC hotels because it is one combined business entity. After merger, what is going to be the structure here that out of 10 lakhs that somebody had in ITC, 40% they are going to have through ITC because ITC will still retain 40% stake in ITC hotels and remaining 60% stake, they are going to get stock split in the ratio of 10 is to 1, which is for every 10 shares of ITC, the investor is going to get one share of ITC hotels. So from a shareholding perspective, I don't think people are losing any money because of this demerger. So overall, in my view, this demerger is a very, very good news from shareholders perspective and that might take the stock to new levels in FY 2025. Now comes the third the key trigger point and what you will see here is that from a valuation perspective and from last six months return perspective if you compare the competition here Godfrey Flips, VST Industries, NTC Industries in last six months have given 91% returns, 23% returns, 35% returns respectively, while ITC has given 0.22% returns. So if I was an investor and wanted to take a bet in cigarette business plus FMCG business, would I take a bet in the remaining three stocks versus ITC? The chances are that I'm going to take bets on ITC because ITC still holds more than 70% of market share in cigarette business and the stock is not overvalued from a PE perspective. Almost most at industry P level. It being a leader here, the valuation of other cigarette companies are also at the same level. So
So in my view right now, ITC is not massively overvalued and because of the merger, the stock has bright future. Now comes the biggest risk this stock carries for the next one or two months, which is taxes on cigarette business. So in the interim budget that was presented in February 2024, there was no additional taxes levied on the tobacco products. And just to show you various taxes that go on the cigarette business, this is a slightly older article that you will see. But if the cost of manufacturing is 100 rupees on the cigarettes, then there is an excise duty that gets levied. Then there is a NCCD, which is the tax on the cigarette business, tobacco business is 1.04. Total price then gets calculated. Then there is a GST on top of it, which is at 28% already. And there is a compensation cess as well. By the time this 100 rupees comes to the market, it comes at 155 rupees. So there is already a lot of taxes here. But in the full budget that is going to come after elections at some point in time in either June or July, if government decides to put more taxes on cigarette business, then ITC stock is going to see a fall in the stock prices. While if the government does not propose any more taxes on cigarette business, then the stock prices will be free from risk and they might see some rally. Now, no